This is section 3.4. We'll talk about the Poisson distribution. So we'll use the Poisson distribution when we want to count the number of occurrences of an event per unit of time, distance, volume, etc. So this would be something like counting the number of tomato plants that have mold on them in one acre. Something like that. And the probability of the event occurring is the same for each unit of time, distance, volume. So x is the number of occurrences in a given interval. The possible x values are 0, 1, 2, 3. The probability mass function is this. So the probability that x is some specific value is e to the negative lambda times lambda to the x over x factorial, where x is the average number of occurrences in a given interval. And we'll say that x is distributed Poisson lambda, or you can write out Poisson lambda. The expected value and variance are very easy to remember. Expected value is lambda, variance is lambda. So some examples might be like the number of customers who arrive at the checkout counter in one hour, or the number of major fires in a city during the last two months, number of typing errors per page in a book, so a page would be the interval here, two months is the interval, one hour is the interval, the number of dirt specks found in one square yard, a plastic wrap, so one square yard, so everything is kind of a set interval. Let's see, so Farnham measures swallet software quality by monitoring the number of errors per 1,000 lines of computer code. So that's kind of our interval, we're doing intervals, and that cues, cues you on that we're doing Poisson. Suppose the number of errors per 1,000 lines of computer code is described by Poisson distribution with a mean or average, notice up here, lambda is the average number of occurrences in a given interval, of four errors per 1,000 lines of code. So this is important, and we have four errors per 1,000 lines. So let's find the probability of obtaining A errors in 2,500 lines of code. Now one of the interesting things about Poisson is that your lambda can change for each situation if you're changing your interval. So 25,000, that's different from 1,000, so we have to calculate lambda. Well if you think about it, if you had four errors per 1,000 lines, then that means if you want 25,000 lines, you do four times 2,500. Sorry, not 4 times 2,500. You say, okay, let's see. So 4 for 1,000, um, 2,500 is 2.5 times 1,000. So 4.2.5 is 10. Okay. Or you could set up a ratio. If you remember how to do ratios from algebra class, you could do like 4 out of 1,000 equals lambda over 2,500 and go from there. Okay, so we have lambda, now you just plug everything in. So the probability that x equals 8 is going to be, so come back up, look at your formula, e to the negative lambda, lambda over x, over x factorial. So e to the negative lambda, lambda to the power of x, over x factorial. So in our case, we'll have e to the negative lambda, in our case is 10, times 10 to the x, which is 8, over 8 factorial. And this is 0.1125. Okay. Find the probability of obtaining 7 errors in 10,000 lines of code. So you do 4 out of 1,000 equals lambda over 10,000. Or this should be, or lambda equals 4 times 10, because it's 10 times as much as the original, so 40. Okay, so probability that x equals 7. So e to the negative 40 times 40 to the 7 over 7 factorial is 1.38 times 10 to the negative 10. That seems like a very small probability, but that makes sense because we were expecting about 40 errors. Okay. Since lambda is the average number of errors, we're expecting about 40, so to get only 7, that would be very likely. Okay, see, so what would be the mean or expected number of errors in 7,000 lines of code? So again, you have to find lambda first. So lambda is going to be 4 times 7,000 is 7 times as much as what we started with, so 4 times 7 is 28. The expected value of x is always, again, very easy. It's just a lambda, so we get 28. 
So you expect about 28 hours. <clears throat> and for standard deviation, standard deviation is the square root of variance. So the square root of <coughs> lambda, because the variance is just equal to lambda. So the square root of 28 is 5.29.